Hi, I'm Chantal. And I'm Nikki. And we're the faces behind Agile Caribbean Name. So today we want to have a conversation about how do you challenge your team to continue to grow. So let's just get straight into it. So as you know, Agile underscores the importance of having cross-functional teams. Now, what does that mean, Chantal? For us, it means two things. One, as a team, you need to ensure that you have all the persons that you need to get your job to done. But two, you also need to ensure that as individuals, even though you may have your own area of expertise, that you can also dabble in other areas if necessary. Now, what do I mean by that? So, for example, say there's a uh, developer who's comfortable on the front end. Getting them some experience on the middleware may simply mean you have them pair with a middleware expert. Mm -hmm. It's just to get them accustomed and some level of understanding as, uh, as to what's happening on the middleware. So that if needs be, they can mm -hmm. also take on small tasks or stories. Now, if you do that, you also need to bear in mind that you have to understand that a front-end developer taking on a middleware story, it will not be completed necessarily in the same time, especially if we're using that as a learning experience. Mm -hmm. But as a team, once you have come to that understanding, then you should be fine. The idea is to ensure that we are not reliant on just any one person in any area. And if needs be, we can jump on and assist. Anywhere. Anywhere. Mm -hmm. That's right, Nikki. And in the same breath, you also want to pay attention for when key opportunities come up for shared learning to take place. So if it is that you're taking on a store that you don't do every day, for example, setting up a pipeline, it's a perfect opportunity for someone to share their screens and for it, become to, for it to become a team activity where everybody's paying attention, everybody's asking questions, and everybody is figuring out and learning how it is that we go about doing certain things that we don't do every day. But you also want to take the opportunity too when we're doing stores that we don't typically do to do code reviews with your team members. And it means sometimes you may not have to share your screen while you're doing the exact work because we know that sometimes you're trying to figure out the things as you go. But when, once you've figured out everything, you can have your developer share their screen and explain how they got to where they got and why the code it is written the way it's written. And it's also key too that when they do spikes, it becomes a conversation at the end of it. Who did you speak to? What did you talk about? And what it is that we have agreed is an, uh, an approach we can take. So that's also important. So completely agree, Chantal. I guess the key point is that as a team, being ready to continuously learn, and as we always emphasize, just to try new things. And try new things mean that, hey, it may not be our comfort zone. This is not where we started, or this is not what we love to do. But we are going to understand enough so that as a team, we can always work towards that shared goal. That's right, Nick. You also have to allow your team members to find their shortfalls and work on their weaknesses. They know what that is. And it is just for you to help them come up with a strategy, whether it be through a retrospective or whether it be through your one-on-one -on -one conversations with them to say, hey, this is an opportunity for you to grow. What can we do to help you grow type of thing? And it can become a team-wide conversation where the team is suggesting things that you can try to do to improve yourself and to grow. So let's hold each other accountable type of thing as well. I remember as you said that, Sean, one activity that we tried was, I don't remember the exact name, but the concept was, I challenge you. Also to balance yourself, I appreciate you. And it's pretty much an activity where you go around the room, person to say one, to select one person and say what they appreciated about them, how they worked, anything that they chose. But also one thing that they challenge them to do to kind of help them to also get out of their comfort zone. So I agree with you. It can become a full team activity or depending on the personality mm -hmm. of the person, maybe just a one-on-one, -on -one, right? Exactly. And if it is that you don't work in IC, we don't want you to feel like these things don't apply to you because you should want your team members to be T-shaped as well. Meaning they have depth of knowledge in a certain area, but they have a broad appreciation for everything that your team is supposed to be doing. And I think, as you said, Chantal, this can be applicable to any area. So say you're on a marketing team. It may be that your depth of knowledge is in digital marketing and then someone else can help you with SEO or SEM. So it, it's applicable to any area. Chantal said it doesn't have to be in IT. It's just a matter of helping each other, challenging each other to step out of whatever that comfort zone is. Exactly. And it should also mean that you're encouraging and finding opportunities for shared learning and you're encouraging role sharing as well. We Correct. just want to ensure that everybody on the team is basically on the same speed. Completely agree with you, Chantal. 
So those are some of the things that we've tried to help challenge our teams. We want to hear from you. Let us know what you have tried to ensure that your team is continuously learning, continuously growing. Thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share with someone who might find our content useful. And if you haven't already, also start following us on our other social media channels at Agile Caribbean Link on LinkedIn, Twitter, IG, and Facebook. Talk soon. Hola, 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 ¿cómo estás? Where are you going, so? <laughs> Muy bien, gracias, Rick, usted. Bien, también. Sure. <laughs>